Welcome to our video series on cybersecurity careers. We live in a digital era where everything from personal information to national security is vulnerable to cyber attacks. Computer and network professionals defend our systems by working in information technology jobs related to cybersecurity. In this five-part video series, workers from a wide range of cybersecurity fields will share with you their work, their career paths, and the study and certifications that are needed in their professions. We hope that their stories will inspire you to learn more about this rapidly growing, high-demand field, which offers excellent pay and high job satisfaction. Hi, I'm Ron Ross. Um, I'm a fellow at the National Institute of Standards and Technology, or NIST as it's known. We're part of the Department of Commerce, and our particular division within NIST is the Computer Security Division, and we develop security standards and guidelines for the federal government and also private sector customers who wish to use our, our material in helping to protect their businesses and their missions. Cybersecurity is really, really important today for so many reasons. If you think about it, we have smartphones and we have tablets. We have computers that are being pushed into everything today. It's making us more productive. It's giving us unbelievable capability. And the fact that those computers are being pushed out, I call it being pushed to the edge. Everything, even toasters, automobiles, uh, baby monitors. And those computers are driven by something we call software. It's the computer programs. It's the smarts that allow that computer to do things that we never anticipated they could do. And so when you have all those computers controlling critical things in every aspect of our lives, from power plants to banks uh, to manufacturing plants to medical devices, pacemakers, and in, in when they put those devices in your chest, uh, the computers have to be dependable in everything that we have those computers doing. And that's why cybersecurity is so critical today because unless those devices, those computers are dependable, then we're going to be putting people's lives at risk. And all the things that we count on, the, the fact that we get power every day from these power plants, we take it for granted. But if there's a cyber attack against one of our power plants and that power plant goes down for a week or a month, that's a pretty serious thing. If there's a hospital that's attacked and there's the people on life support systems or those medical devices, that puts people's lives at risk. So the fact that we're so advanced now in the technology Computer security is really the, the, the central issue because the technology is only as good as we can protect it. And that's why I think this field offers such great opportunity and challenges for the young folks of today. It is important to develop trustworthy software and systems that are reliable. So when that software goes into a pacemaker in your father or mother's chest, you know that if it has wireless access, that somebody's not going to maliciously put code in there that can, can do something bad. The great thing about a career in cybersecurity is it's relevant in every sector. We talk about the critical infrastructure sectors. There's the, the energy sector, we have the manufacturing sector, first responders, the defense sector, uh, financial sector. Every one of those sectors uses computers, even in your personal lives. So choosing a, a career in cybersecurity, you can work in any sector because one thing is very clear, we have a significant shortage of talent in the cybersecurity industry today. Whatever sector you're in, if you're in cybersecurity, the people you work for are going to be depending on you to help protect the critical systems that allow that business to be successful. And you can extend that all the way to the military, the intelligence community, the government agencies. It's all the same because computers are in every one of these organizations. And there's going to be a very small group of people who are investing in their education that are going to have the capability and the skills and the knowledge to bring that from the boardroom all the way down to the front line and make a difference. And when you can have a career that is that exciting and you can get up every day and feel you're, you're making a difference, you know, I just, it didn't, it didn't get any better than that.
I'm Bill Newhouse. I'm from the National Institute of Standards and Technology. I am uh, the deputy director of a national initiative for cybersecurity education. Uh, you might hear the term Internet of Things. More devices, more data. Well, it turns out if we don't protect that data, we, we, we are not necessarily making the best uh, use of it. Uh, we're not helping our own businesses. We're not protecting our privacy. We're, we're giving opportunities for bad things to happen. And it turns out we're in a space where, where adversaries can, can take advantage of our bad practices. And that's one of the key things about this new area is that it is, a, it is not just a safety impact where I need to make sure I have redundancies and things work and will work if something fails. I also need to worry about the fact that somebody is trying to figure out how to make it fail. And, and that, you know, I say me, that's what brings the passion to, to, to my job on a daily basis, knowing that, that I have to be, be cognizant of the fact that this, this, this profession, this field, has an adversary. And, and so when, when I look at any system or any device, I ask a lot of different questions that I've gained through experience, but try to figure out, okay, you told me you're protecting it this way, what happens where, where does that move the attacker? If, if they think they can't get through some part of our protections, where will they go next? What will they, what will they work on? And that leaves a lot of room and a lot of places to explore. And, and I think that's the most exciting part about this. Is there something there that, that you might think of that nobody else in the room thought of at that time? So it, it's, it's very exciting to be, to be part of that. In cybersecurity, we, we have one study that shows uh, Industry is asking for 150,000 people with a particular certification. Uh, that's looking at job vacancies that have been posted. So that's, a, that's strong evidence that there's a, a big market. They're asking them to have a, a certain certification. And in the history of the world, that certification has been given to roughly 70,000 people. So, so right there, there are 80, there's a need for 80,000 people to maybe gain the skills and show that they can do the work that that certification uh, will, will provide evidence towards. So that's one concrete example of, of industry saying, I need something, and, and right now the pipeline doesn't exist. So, so I, that, that's a good, strong way to say this is a good field to come into because, because that gap isn't, there's a gap and it hasn't been met. So, so we've created the NICE framework to, to help define the, the workforce. It, it doesn't list job titles. It doesn't say here's an individual job. It does offer that these are what we believe today to be the, the work roles necessary to do the full suite of cybersecurity work. Um, it'll, it'll be the job vacancies and the position vacancies that are announced that, that describe the work that's needed at this moment, and, and that'll shift as, as the threat and the, and, the, and, the, and the needs and the devices and things change. Um, but in that, in that work role description, you as a student can look in there and see the knowledge, skills, and abilities that are associated with that work role. You can see tasks that are performed in that work role, and, and that's a really great way for you to stare at a list and go, okay, I know what that means and I'm interested in it, or I don't know what that is and I'm going to Google what that means and see if that sounds cool to me. Uh, and I think if, you're, if you want to know how things work and you want to know how things are put together, you'll find a lot of interesting kind of tasks in there and, and then the knowledge, skills, and abilities will give you some motivation to say, I want to be one of those. And